know if you want to let it in a straw pig. Okay, we're live. We're, we're live. Y'all, welcome to Hillbilly's Wing Shack talk show, the second episode. So we're still putting this thing together, uh, trying to figure out what we're doing. I've never done this before in my life, except for a month ago. So here we are. Today, when we're lucky enough um, in our great neighborhood and everything around us to have, who he always looks at me like I'm crazy. So, who I think is a legend in music. This guy loves people. He loves music. He loves helping people in music. Uh, Mr. Gary Dixon. Glad to be here. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much, Gary. You know, even let y'all know now, Gary's been playing music for a long time. I wanted y'all to hear some of the history and stuff he's done. He's um, listened to his stories and never get a chance to see him, which ain't too often. Um, is awesome because he's he's been doing music for a long time too long sometimes <laughs> so how long have you been playing when did you start playing i start i had i started learning in 1964 i was in the 10th grade in high school and i started learning my instruments and i had my first gig when i was a junior in 1960 spring of 1965 was my first gig with a band <laughs> it wasn't even born yet. no i wasn't even born yet <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I thought about him. Well, so what did you what, I mean, what did you start off playing in blues or what country? No, or what? Started, just the uh, pop music back then. Uh, I started out as a drummer, and back then it was stuff like Wipeout was popular, Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison, and California Sun. I think that's the three songs I first learned. And I started out. My first set of drums was a. Uh, uh, desk to do my homework at home and uh, I had a, my adopted brother they we had to bunk together and he was trying to sleep at night and after my homework I would turn the 45 on and I would learn those songs on beating on my desk uh, but anyway when I became a junior in high school and started playing with a band I bought me a set of drums out of Spiegel catalog and I was proud of those drums. E.W. Kent was their names. <laughs> well, now you played a lot of blues. I mean, you played in, I mean, Memphis, Nashville. I mean, you played all over the place, didn't you? Uh, yeah, uh, mostly Tennessee, Alabama, uh, Mississippi, and uh, let's see, what, one more. Uh, four states around, but uh, Florida. But mostly in Tupelo, Corinth, and uh, Florence, and Jackson, Tennessee. But I did... Uh, you know, play and travel a little bit when I was a younger guy. A younger guy. No, you're not, you're not older, you're just more experienced than us. Um, now, you, now you got a band now, too. In fact, you'll be playing here coming, what is that? I think it's... it's In a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks a couple coming weeks. up. You got some guys from Corinth, a couple of guys from Corinth, uh, well, and one guy from Booble. Some guys I've been working with for a long time, off and on. And, uh, but we've got a, a new drummer, a young drummer, a lot younger than us, and he really does a great job, and we're really having a lot of fun. Practice with, in fact, we practice this afternoon. Go we'll practice, but uh, we're really enjoying it. And uh, you know, I've tried to lay it down two or three or four times, but it's just useless to do that. So I'm going to do it as long as I can. You know, I've had to, I've sold out and rebought, and uh, but I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. I still love it, I guess. You can't cool what you love, especially and then that's one thing about it, you know, when y'all play, you know, I mean, like you play and that, you know, like David, that, you know, um, Katie's husband, David, um, Dave Pay and Red Mountain and um, the guys in the band, you know, y'all, there are certain people I see that play music and when they play music, you see how much they love the music as they play. They, you know, and you're one, you're one of them. Yeah, they say, you know, that I, you know, make a lot of faces, but, you know, I just feel it right here, you know. But uh, I can't tell you enough, uh, Michael, how much I appreciate you promoting uh, live music for us musicians around. It's really been great. This is one of our favorite places to ever play. You know, it's just great people, great food, and it's just a pleasure to be here. Hey, it's, always, it's always great to have you here, too, guys. And I... You know, all thing about it is, you know, our local musicians, we have such great talent. That's already. really the truth. We really have good talent. And 
you know, trying to get these the talent to come out and do something and show the talent they have to take the opportunity if they get it. Because I mean, let's face it, being musicians, I mean, it's hard. I mean, I I, I know I've I've seen people that I thought were great that never got that right chance at the exact right time. That's the truth. That's really true. So I, I, I love promoting. I, I love music, man. I, I listen, and I've said it before, I said it last show, I listen to music all the time. I know you do. There's music on my front porch, there's music in the kitchen when I'm cooking, there's a radio playing in the bedroom, and I sing in the shower. If you're not getting a middle picture of that, you won't like it. Uh, let me get my recorder one day. <laughs> we might be wasting some talent there. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna set a shower up here to sing. So no, we're we're done. Yeah. Um, but no, um, you know, I love music, and I don't have much musical talent, but I do enjoy music and listen to music all the time. So you know, I appreciate the, you know y'all that come up, so want to come up here and enjoy yourself with us. Yeah, right. And now so, Gary here too. I mean, and now let's see. Uh, I, I said we were going to talk about this, so i, I got to mention it. So we first got started, Gary's one of the first fans that ever came in here and helped play with us. And um, he played for us one night, and we were just trying to get our name out. We weren't even up to anything yet. So, Gary come, was it doing a Friday night then, or Saturday night, I can't remember. I think it was a Sunday afternoon, because we used oh, to do it on Sunday. That's right, it was Sunday. So, Gary's in here playing. Well, Sunday evening, the place is empty, literally. We had the door open. This dog, and every now and then we still see, it's, it's a basset hound. His name is, actually, we started calling him Elvis. Because he showed up because when he heard music, that's when he came over. Well, kind of find out, people have told me his real name was Elvis. <gasps> so we was right. No way. So the place was dead. They were playing basically for us. And Elvis walks in the door and sits in the middle of the floor there to pass it out. <laughs> and so we, we went to kick him out and could get dog out of there. And um, Gary says, man, don't take my only customer away. Leave him alone. So he sat there listening to music. That's right. Our only customer. Don't bother that puppy. <laughs> hey, you know, and actually to let you know, I've seen, we've seen him here probably a couple weeks ago. Um, he, he walks through the woods across the street and comes up and looks both ways and crosses the road and comes over here and hears music. If he's, if he's out, they, they let him out. He does, because whenever he hears music, he shows up here. Uh, he loves the blues, too, I think. Yeah, he does. He likes the blues. Blues Elvis. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny that that's what we called him, because by that's what his name was, and he, only, he showed up whenever he heard music. I don't know. Well, now, now, uh, your band now is what, Refried Confusion? I said that right? That's right. I didn't come up with that name, but uh, some of the other guys, uh, I wanted to call us, we'll reform again, I wanted to call us uh, the Great Cats. But they kind of like uh, Refried Confusion. So I said, okay, we are Refried kind of that way. Some <laughs> of us are. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but anyway, we have a lot of fun. Like I said, we're going to rehearse this afternoon, and I, I think we're, uh, we're doing pretty good so far. You know, I, I've been off for a year, and I started booking again, but we got this thing together. They've been practicing for a while, but I've been staying in. And But I got I joined them about six weeks ago, and, and uh, we've been practicing, and uh, things have picked up quicker than I thought. So we are... We are uh, fixing to get busy we know with the music industry too and especially y'all artists like y'all um with this covid thing hit man it i mean it put a killing on on that and I, absolutely you know, and i mean the music the live music industry everything just sort of died and i thought it was an awful thing because i mean i i love i love having my live bands in here and i love having people come and hanging out and enjoy herself and um, you know, and, and all these great musicians sitting at home wondering what they're going to do next. That's right. And I, I mean, that's it. Was, it was, it was a long year for, for sure. Long yeah, year. it was not scary. I mean, I, really, I mean, nobody wanted, nobody could come out and play. I mean, do anything. And did you quit having stuff. bands for a while, or did you just get whoever you? I, could get no, I, I quit for a little while because they would, they made me. But um, 
after a little while, what we did was we made it interpreters outside. And when this COVID thing was going on, there wasn't a table in the building. We were on the parking lot, put them out back. Yeah. I mean, they set them outside. We we waited on them. You know, the girls were complaining it was the best exercise they ever had. Because we, we had people all scattered out through here, all tables outside. Yeah, that's you the know, way I mean, to do it. Well, you, you have to adapt. I mean, you got you got employees and they have families and you know they have to they have to eat you have to figure out some way to adapt to keep everybody took care of and um, that's exactly right it was a long year yes it was when i got my shots about three weeks later i got back out again and started trying to book and like i said so far it's picking up the last time i was shot it took a lot longer to heal up oh, oh that's a different shot never mind <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm glad you are back out again. I'm glad you're going to be here to play. And I can't, hang on, where's my, I gotta put the phone. Let me, let me see what the actual date is here. I want to make sure I can get this right here. I keep my so y'all at the house. I don't put them in my phone. Y'all can come see the notorious legend, Gary Dixon. Let me see. Legend in his own man, really. He forgot to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you tell don't us the story so while see. he's looking that up? I'm sorry. Would you tell us a story? One of yeah. your favorites while he's looking that up. Tell a story someplace good about where you play. Well, some of the stories, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what was your one favorite? Night, one night, uh, uh, a Friday night, two of the band members got, got into a fight. So the next night I got there early and one of the band members uh, beat up the other one and uh, we were going to play the next night and the, it was a keyboard player that got the worst end of it when he came in we were setting up he brought something in the paper sack and it was a uh, gun and he put it together and uh, set it by the keyboard and i said what in the world are you doing with that he said well with so and so that's how the band member comes in if he says one word to me <laughs> he's gone so that was the longest first set that I ever, I, I run out and told the guy when he the parking lot, I said, you know, he's got a gun in there. I'm not afraid of that gun. So we played for a set, and after that set, I started packing up. I said, I can't stand this anymore. So he said, look, if you'll stay, I'll pack the gun up and put it back in the car. So that was one of the most unique moments that I've had. I've had a lot of others, but I cannot think right now. But anyway, that was quite an experience, quite an experience that I haven't forgotten yet. That was back in about 1968. <laughs> yeah, that back in the wild days. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, you played you played blues. I mean, I know um, I saw a friend of mine the other day. It's both a friend of both ours. He says he used to travel around and where you would go play, he'd go for y'all and listen to y'all play the blues all the time. Yeah, that's my that's really my favorite music. I can I do it all. I do I can play in a country band or a, a, a classic yeah classic country or rock and roll or southern rock or whatever. But uh, but blues is where my heart is and and that's what I of course I'll do anything you know where the money comes in. But it, it's always great to be able to play with the blues band because I play harp a little bit and uh, so that kind of puts a good mix to it too but I love all types and I do play all types of music well or that's not. a good chance to talk about Maxine's house of music real yeah, quick yeah by the way let me let's do that while we're in playing here sure of course um, Gary knows Jeff down there at Maxine's house of music too um, Maxine's house of music one of our sponsors he is a really great guy. They're, I mean, they're really good people down there. Um, Jeff has love for music. He's always here. He helps us, you know, keep going. Because every now and then, on a Friday, Saturday night, we decide to get a little rowdy and we'll crank this stuff up and it's later night and we sort of have a tendency to blow things up. Or might so, blow something up. Yes, yeah. yeah. But Jeff, he always comes out. He comes out and, and figures out what we need and gets back up and going again. But we have we have blown up a couple of extra boards. <laughs> oh, I, I know you can up. hear this system at my house three quarters of a mile away on a night when you're deciding you just want to roll it out. It, it shakes the stuff off the walls. So, uh, Maxis House Music in Savannah, right across from. 
I can't remember the exact address. You know what the exact address is? I don't. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's on Florence Street. It's on Florence Street, right across from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And um, used to be um, the movie place, but right across the street from them. And guys, they have been here for a long time. I mean, they are, they are definitely the first music store in Savannah. And they're still here. So you get a chance. Are you looking for anything at all? If you don't have it, he can help you find it. Back to his house music, go in and see Jeff. Really great people. Look at some of the stuff he's got in there. Um, he's got uh, some memory on the walls. Um, some of my albums I got hanging in here. Um, like my the Easy Rider movie album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta be kidding me. Man. I bet that you like that movie, cool. didn't you? Yes, that's a cool movie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I mean, yeah, but he had the vinyl, the album all intact, everything. I said, I gotta have that. And I bought that. Um, I think I got a Willie Nelson, an old Willie Nelson album covers on the roof, on the ceiling that um, I got from him too. So he, he just, he loves music, um, does everything he can to help help out the community of music, um, sets up the churches and stuff too. So thank you very much. Back to South Music and Jeff. Absolutely. Um, now look at this now you know you know this guy loves blues when you have i got one harmonica i can barely play and he has he keep he, that's part of that was in his back pocket he only carry a wallet that's what he carries right there um you never know when you're going to need him <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would love to hear you to, to, to play us something out if you don't mind well, I'll just do a blues riff or two. Y'all li listen to this for a minute. Now, this guy is very talented to love. Sample if y'all come in a couple of weeks and hear the uh, what are we now the refried confusion band? Do some more, do some more. And you'll hear some of that. It's 29th. 29th of this moment. All right. Yeah, I, I want to look it up, make sure, you know, uh, I was going to tell say the right day, you know me. Me too. We all wake up in the morning, you know, they're in shade beside my bed, and I, I think said so, so all the time. My wife keeps shade pulled down in the morning and says, your mic because this time you got to get up and go you know do this or that whatever so i remember every day what i have to do mm -hmm. so that's i'm not the same boat but folks um if you've never been hillbillies wing shack let me tell you guys okay we do a lot of different stuff um let's see this saturday we're doing a there's a dice run coming in for post 77 the american legion post um we're doing a auction here Everything to ride ends here. We will have live music. Yeah, also, during that time, I will be cooking, me personally, will be cooking fried fish. Now, the fried fish plates, every plate sold goes to post 97. Now, the, we're, doing, we're doing two at one time because y'all yeah, can't do but so many benefits at once, so we're putting everything together, and our veterans, um, we are very thankful. Thank the Lord for what they've done for us, for what we have. Um, but we're doing this on this coming up Saturday. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a good bunch of great people here to meet and enjoy. Please come meet some people. Enjoy company, music, food, and let us help our veterans out. Uh, we're, we're very fortunate, uh, me and my wife both. Um, you know, our families have been in the wars and were um, veterans. I've got a son-in-law that's still now in the military now. Uh, I'm very proud of him. So if we can give a little bit, we want to try to help give some to our community in our areas and help our veterans in the local areas. So if y'all would, please come join us. Have a great time. Um, Miss Katie here, y'all missed last Saturday night, by the way. Katie here had us set up with a like a electric like photo booth thing oh man it was so cool i saw that on facebook i think oh we had so much fun i don't know there's pictures i i was standing doing some crazy stuff all, all of us sitting there in front of a window it was really cool she done an awesome job on that, that was, thank you that was a lot of fun oh hey 
Would you want to take us on a tour of the Wing Shack? We've still got some time. Do you want to like take a little break, take us on a tour, show us around, and we'll just take the camera with us? Sure, let's do that. Okay. All right. We're going to go for a little tour, Gary. I'll just wait over. You'll wait away? All right. Don't run off. Oh, I won't. All right, buddy. You see, you know, we. I'm a collector. I collect all this stuff. I love looking at it. I'm not a seller. I love it. I love collecting stuff. We got a. Every man should have a 1928 fire engine with a chili dip pepper in the back of it. <laughs> I mean, I think anyway. Oh, pretty cool. And by the way, by this thing we're sitting out here, where the legend's sitting right there, that is that is mine and Nina's wedding bar. We built that, and we've been using it down here and set up. Oh, very proud of it, and all the stuff on the walls. I mean, I can almost tell you about everything came from as time went on. Oh, and inside the building here, there's a famous David Frost, awesome guy. singer, beautiful guy, a beautiful voice guy. Of course, Miss Katie, she's behind on the back side of the camera. She's sort of cheating. <laughs> um, this was, but hey, also Tony. I want to thank Tony, American Flag, POWMA. I think he made it the other day. He brought it. I promised him I would get it up first chance I got. We put it up today. Very proud of it. Um, it's some of the stuff just to we like to do it don't matter guys i'm red white and blue i will not waver from my beliefs and my country and my god here's our veteran wall here's some stuff on it and, and most of the stuff is donated from people that brought it to us and we just keep trying to clear it up and fill the wall we need a bigger wall actually um i try how i make that happen but we just we just add our stuff in here that a lot of people have never seen before i love to look at um, there's a motorcycle that actually still ran the day it came in here, put it on the wall. Uh, had a guy, a friend of ours, actually today, or this past weekend, Bubba, he brought me this sign right there. It's a bartender phone race. And so we've got that put up there. I don't know what exactly it says. There you are. Beaver hasn't been here all day, huh? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, this this um clock right here came from a buddy of mine in California, Bill, and um, his wife Deb gave it to us. We've had it hanging there. So I mean, it's all this stuff in here, a little bit of everything, just to collect and things to look at and things that some people have never seen before. Um, I just I just enjoy. I enjoy. When, and I don't have a big enough building for all the stuff we managed to get together. Oh, show us um, the shirts. Okay, so now, let's, let's talk about the merch. Okay, hey, also guys, look, we have these shirts. You can buy these shirts. We have two different shirts. I'm oh, sorry. Two. We um, we have the fire starts here with, with the This is a brand fire. new shirt this, they just got. This is a brand new design. We just got it. Thanks to um Miss Pam out Mellow Graphics doing a great job for us. And by the way, this ink glows in the dark. <laughs> okay, so we can find you if we need to. Um, <laughs> and um, then here we have we have this one, which is the more adult version of our shirt. Don't get this for your kids. Yes, you're not getting this for your kids. So I got hot, wet, and naked wings at World Famous Little Wing Shack. But we have all these shirts and stuff for sale. We also have koozies. What's on the front? Oh, let's see on the front of this one. Yeah. Um, now, in front of this one, it has that. On the front of this other one, it does not. Okay. Okay, so let people know. So, says he'll lose world famous, he'll lose wing shack in front of those, but on the front of these. So, we've got two different styles of yes. shirts. Yep. And then we've we got them sleeveless and we've got them with sleeves. Yes, we have sleeveless um, sleeves. And then in the wintertime, we also have long sleeves, and they'll say he'll lose wing shack down both sides. Okay. And then we have our koozies. And also we have, oh, you ain't seen mugs. Let me, hey, let me show you a mug here. Hang on real quick. So, and you can buy all this stuff. And I think we're fixing to have it set up. You can buy it online, correct? That's right. That's coming up pretty yes, quick. Yes, very soon. And then you can get your own Hillblade Link Shack mug. 
Also, you can order a sauce. Our custom made sauce, you can buy a sauce, and it comes with a mug. How much is it for the sauce? The sauce is $14. Okay, and how and then, many ounces? It's um, or a it's, jar or what? It's um, 12, it's 12 ounces, I believe is what it comes up. It's, it's a 14 ounce jar. So they call it 14 ounces, fill it up right there. Fill it right there with sauce. Um, so I, I see around 12 ounces, a little more. But also, you know, remember when you use our sauce, guys, don't, it's, it's concentrated, it goes a long way. So you don't have to use a whole bunch of sauce. But it's the same, same sauce we sell y'all is exactly the sauce we make and build in our kitchen for us. So you can, you can do a lot of wings with that much sauce. Do you want to take um, us outside or you want to go back and talk to Mr. Gary? I guess we'll see, we'll, we'll see what else we got to see. I don't, I don't see anything else there that, um, that I haven't seen. I want to stay, these two, look at these two guys right here. Okay, Kevin Hosey, these are his sons. Um, Matthew and Hunter, that's Matthew, this is Hunter. They're twins. Um, very proud to have them up here. They they um, may have been professional fighting. I don't know if they're still doing or exactly what it's exactly called, how to call it MMA or whatever it is. Um, very talented, very good boys, hard worker. Um, their daddy, um, Kevin, is a good friend of mine and a very upstanding man has done a great job on or with his children or raising his children with manners and respect and loyalty. They're, they're really great kids. We're very proud to have these posters up here. Um, they had done these fights and they actually signed them and laminated them and brought them to us so we could put them up on here. There's another one, Dakota um, Ferguson. We, um, we sponsored him in a fight, real good guy, and he sparred with all these, all these guys, including Kevin. So, you know, guys, just when you come in here, just take time to look around. Don't like to sit down and be quiet. If you haven't been told, when you come to Hillbilly's Wing Shack, you do not sit down here and look on your phone and just sit there. You set your phone down, you sit and talk to your family and friends and have a good time. This is not the place to just sit here and be quiet. We expect you to enjoy yourself, make some noise, mingle around. Um, my, my definition of a restaurant is some place you go to enjoy your family and friends until your food comes out. And that's the way it's supposed to be. So uh, we have all kinds of stuff, like I said, to come look at the walls, everything we got going on. Um, and you will enjoy yourself, I promise. My little boy uh, likes playing cornhole. Yes, we have cornhole boards out here in the front. We also have horseshoe, board, hor horseshoe boards. We have horseshoes in the back. <laughs> Oh, we just put that in, by the way. Go on the back for horseshoes. All right, guys. Also, let you know we're supposed to have a buddy of mine on um, Blake Hook will be from H and H Towing here today. He'll be with us, but um, unfortunately, y'all have dinner enough vendors today where he ain't had time to stop. So he called me and said he couldn't make it, but. He couldn't make it because he was out taking care of y'all. Um, H.H. Stone's a good friend of mine. Uh, Blake Huckleby. Thank the Lord love me. He's always helped me out every time I need something done. So he's in Selmer, Savannah, Crump. Um, I think he's even going to Knox, towing something in Knoxville next day or two. So he's all over the place. So H.H. Stone, give him a holler. And um, if he's watching this on five Facebook, whatever, send a message and say, I cannot believe. <laughs> this was a no show. <laughs> no. Give him a nod. Give him a hard time. <laughs> All right, well, um, so what we got going on next, you think? Where should, where should we go from here? Well, we've seen all the, we've seen all the, all the stuff I've left in the building. Do we have so, any more songs? No. They got to come see you live. Got to come see them live. Okay. I'm telling you, if you want to see a, a good show, these guys, you know, and um, they really put on a good show. Gary plays from his heart, and you know, and, and you, you know, and you know, he does it. In fact, both his children, both his boys, are are in music also. So, I mean, so he has made that much of an impression 
with what he does in his life that both his children also play music. So, you know, that's you know, that's pretty good. I was a welder. And that's all right. None of my children are welders. <laughs> but, you know, so, I mean, you, made, you, made a, you made an impression on both of them and, and, were, and you know, I mean, they're really, really good what they do and they enjoy what they do, apparently. Well, I taught them everything I knew in about 10 minutes and they got the rest of the stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They can't, that's just it. These, these younger guys, I'll be honest with you, I don't mean any disrespect, but you know, with, with um, years comes wisdom and experience. And that's the only way you get it is to be around and see things that when you're sitting around 10 years later, you go, oh wow, I remember that. Gosh, oh, I can't believe I made, the, made through that. <laughs> or I've been here or I've been there, you know, but um, you, can't, you can't replace it um, years of wisdom. Every different place you go, I know. You know, every, every place I've ever been, every place is different. I've seen different things happen in, um, in different, you know, cities I've been in. And I've been, I've worked from one end of this coast to the other, just about. And, uh, I've seen some, some, some crazy stuff in my business and the wealth end of it until I went into cooking, which I love to cook all the time. But, um, it took me a little while to realize I was tired of welding. I wanted to do what I what I love to do, which is do is this, right. you know. Oh, uh, but I'll get Gary here. I was, I was very thankful of him to come on the show, guys. And of course, you don't like me bragging too much on him, but really, Gary is he is a, a great musician and a, a great hearted guy. And I've thought the world of him from since since I met him. And, he gets tired of me bragging on him, but I don't think I, I'll ever stop because he is one of the guys you can tell he's true from his heart. And he loves music and he loves people and he likes people that are musicians that have talent to see it do something. So I'm very thankful. I'm gonna get me a little little bitty four door family part of that put a very bomb on. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I, I, I'm very thankful to have someone like him that um, that enjoys coming to see us and talk to us, and um, he does what he does for our community and people in our community and uh, plays in different places. Now you, now you play, you play the VFWs. You played, I mean, it's everybody. been a while. Oh yeah, VFW, American Legion, all of those. But it's been a while since I've done those. Well, now, what did you play? Where did you play last week? I don't mind saying. Uh, I played a solo at Molly Mondays Molly last Monday. Saturday night. Yeah, I also do a solo, and I also got one of my guys in the band. We do a duo, and then we got the full band. So that's what keeps me pretty busy, you know, with three different things. You know. Are you are you still playing bring the keyboard with you when you come? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I do keyboard and harmonica up yeah. here. That yeah, he he plays an awesome keyboard too. Let How many keyboard. instruments do you play? Well, jack of all trades and master of none. And I started out on drums, then I went to bass. And uh, then about 20 years ago, I took up the uh, keyboard. And, uh, and the reason why I remember this, because I started when my granddaughter was born. Uh, this October will be 18 years I've been playing harmonica. So I, wow. I was nearly 60 before I took up harmonica. Wow. What's your favorite style of music? Blues. He is a awesome blues man, I'm telling you. I just love the blues, I really do. I, I love the rest of it too, but the blues is my favorite. That's what my heart is. And you can tell when he plays. I mean, Y'all come to 29th and see him play up here, and you can say when, I mean, and I, I know you're going to do some blues up here at 29th. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, watch him play, you can, you can tell. I mean, he, he enjoys it. Um, and I, and like I said, it's, now we're gonna be, that's gonna be at seven o'clock, 29th. If you want, you make a reservation. Uh, we'll give you a table. We'll, we'll actually, we'll actually let's do a meet and greet with the world famous Gary Dixon. And, um, do you take selfies? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I want to thank you, Michael, for being so good to us and to all the musicians of this part of the country to help keep live music alive. You know, keep it going. It would, Really appreciate that. I just can't tell you enough. Well, well, we'll, we'll have we'll have a great time. I like we always do, and enjoy all the people that you know come up here and, and you know that's just it. 
guys, y'all come. If you know, we don't have. You know, by the way, we don't have a cover charge on any Saturday night ever for the bands. And the reason being is we're a family restaurant. I'm not going to charge you to come in and enjoy yourself and enjoy the music that these these guys play for us and meet new people and make new friends and um, have a good time with your family. Um, I'm sorry, I don't I don't believe on a Saturday night where you know it's our it's our normal open night and everything. We I just I can't see you doing it because you know it's amazing and, and I've seen it happen here before. Someone come here a family and they're a small child, the music starts playing and they just start moving around the seat and dancing around. And that might make a difference in what they do. I mean, it, it makes an impression. So y'all come, y'all come this Saturday, uh, our Saturday 29th. night. We, we got band. We got this Saturday. We got let's see, we got two bands this Saturday because we have the benefit. So we got one during the day. We got uh, Captain Sam. Okay. Uh, Captain Sam. Oh, gosh, I messed that up. I apologize. And we have another. We have another band that night. Triage, I think. And then the following weekend, that you, then you'll be here. Like so. I so that's right. But yeah, y'all come up anytime and then join us and hang out, please, folks. Um, by by the way, colors. my concrete out here. Can you show a picture of my concrete right there, right there in front? Okay, that's supposed to have children's drawings on it. We have boxes of chalk. Well, it's been washed off, so it needs to be redone. Everything out here in the white concrete, anywhere, needs to have drawings for the children. Well, that's that's something I enjoy to look at. I take pictures of them and I post them when they when they're gone. So um, y'all come out. Make sure you um, kids come with you. Ask for chalk and let them sit there and draw. That's fantastic. Love to love to see what they do. So. All right, well, Gary, I think um, Ben's Blake through you, well, Ben's not through you under the bus with Blake or whatever, or under under the record, <laughs> Blake. Um, <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Love you, Blake. <laughs> um, I think we're about wound up for today. Thank you all for a great show. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for going to the show. And we also, we got the variety show tonight, right? We do. That starts at when? It starts at 7.30, 7.30. and anyone can come on out. It's a, it is a $10 charge tonight because we don't, we're not usually open on Tuesdays. Yes, we're not usually open on Tuesdays, so tonight we had the variety show. Now that we have, we charge $10 at the door. Now tonight what that does is all that money goes to pay the actors that show up here. So please, you know, um, we don't, that's, that's strictly to help pay them. So y'all please come join us tonight. That's a variety show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, are we done? We are done. Everyone have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you.